Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite uh, show about organized crime. This is Michael Robert Racine, the first. And today's episode is all about child soldiers, baby. Are we for them? Are we against them? Are they... Are they... Are they cool? We're talking to my friend Eli Sayers. What's up? And, um... Yeah, I got this, uh... I got this, uh, this unlicensed database of music. It's pretty cool. It sounds awesome. You can't hear what's... What, what song is playing right now? Some a song called Fire. By U2? By, like, some... I don't know, some artist. Wait, does U2 have a song called Fire? Hmm? Does U2... Or Jimi Hendrix has a song called Fire? It's so hard to start a podcast. Dude, it's, it's the like worst. It's like the hardest thing in the world. It's the worst. But, hey, you know... Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for being here. <laughs> no problem, dude. <laughs> thanks um, for the snacks. Does oh, everyone get welcome. snacks? No, not everybody. Oh, gets thanks, snacks. dude. Yeah. Damn. If I don't respect it, if you've done my show and I haven't offered you snacks, <laughs> oh, it means shit. I don't respect you. Shit. I'm I don't respect it. you as a man. So, uh, yeah, but thanks for being here. Um, Mexico's fucked up right now, folks. Seems like it. Starting with a report out of Mexico. Shit is fucked up. Um, you ever see that documentary Cartel Land? No, it's good. Is it like about like uh, is it like City of God type shit? It's a documentary. It's about people f- like fighting the cartel. Okay, cool. It's about cool, people cool. picking up weapons and yeah, yeah I, I, you, you, those people seem like they would be heroes, right? Like you anyone, think... anyone you'd say who picks up weapons and fights crime is kind of like that's a good thing, right? So we should uh, we should do it right now after this podcast. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a coward. I'm yeah, not yeah. doing it. Yeah, vigilante. But like. I don't know. It seemed like well, you sent me this article, mm-hmm. and it was like from like uh, not change dot org, but one of them things like ways to change things dot com or some yeah, shit. Yeah, and it read like it was like anti crime, and uh, the first like two things I was like, oh, it's just like recruitment for a child soldier. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I thought it was. It was like benefits mm-hmm. of being a child soldier. Oh, yeah. And it said, and it got to like, oh, the child so- children soldiers can be used as. Uh, means for weapons, fodder, and then it said like sexual use. Yeah. And then I got worried. And I'm like, what fucking link did Mike send me? Like, is this mm-hmm. like this is fucked up? But then I yeah. realized I'm like just a fucking retard. And no, I want us to start our own militia. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and we're gonna recruit children. Hey, dude. I didn't know there were so many uh, shades of gray in this discussion, though. I always mm-hmm. thought child children soldiers definitely bad. Bad. Yeah. But you're saying that there's probably definitely good. Um, I'm just saying that. No, I think it's I think it's a net negative. It's what we call a net negative. Oh, I'm too dumb for that. What's that mean? Is that economics? A net negative means mostly negative. Okay. If cool, you take cool. if you weigh out all the positives and negatives. Okay, mostly know. negative. Yeah. Like doing comedy. Like Bernie Sanders is a net positive, right? Because even though he wrote those rape essays, <laughs> did he write rape he's essays? He's gonna give us all. Yeah, that's like the thing where the people. Oh, they're really fucking. They're that. really grasping for straws. <laughs> he wrote it like thirty <laughs> years ago. Yeah, and he said like women have a rape fantasy. Never mind that every female comedian talks about. Yeah, I'm pretty. You know, I, like it seems. I'm not gonna say it. I would never say it. But yeah. it seems like that is a thing that people have. Mm-hmm. Like it seems seems real. Yeah. So they love like SVU and shit like that. Yeah. My friend Manny, this guy I worked with at Got Junk, he told me one time that he like he was like dating a girl who had a rape fantasy, and he like. Put on a ski mask and like climbed in her apartment. Oh, dude! Had they for. now? Uh, had she? Had she? And, then, and that's like before. So he just got lucky. Mm-hmm. That was before she even told him that. He's just like, oh yeah, surprise! Right, right, right. This was right, a surprise. Right, right. Sure. Right, right. Wasn't I relieved when I found out she was into that sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> that's how Bernie met his wife. Yeah. Oh, well, hello. This looks like this window's open. <laughs> you love Bernie. What you love Bernie though? I love him. Yeah, I was, try- I, I was trying not to talk about him. Yeah, you, I think you fe- I, you, it was like literally forty-five seconds into the podcast. I know. <laughs> I think the move right now though is to pretend that I'm a Joe Biden supporter. Yeah, you and had a funny tweet. I read a tweet of, of yours on yeah. the way on the train. Yeah, I forget what it was. Something about being a pedophile. Just you can suck my cock. No, I said I love Joe Biden, and, and you know what else I love is child pornography. Because <laughs> the whole thing is like Bernie Sanders or Bernie supporters being uh, problematic. Dude, that's so fucking so retarded. So we should all just support Biden and be problematic. I'm not even like a, I'm whatever. I, I don't like war, and I think he's going to be the loudest against war, so I think he'd be the best. Mm-hmm. I think he'd be the best. And I think yeah. he's, like, w- regardless of how you feel about, like, uh, Republic, he will, like, it's almost, like, clear that he's the only one that could beat Trump. Yeah. He might not even, but I think I think he could. I think yeah. he will, yeah. probably. I don't know. 
Well, he's got give, that. You got to give people something to vote for, dude. He's got that not give a fuck energy. Yeah, and I'm not even like uh, in love with him. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. we're like talking too much about this. Well, no, the only thing that I want to say about that is that I, I um, she tweeted Warren tweeted one time about how like uh, she was like, you know, climate change is making it really hard for our military to do its job. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Bell, <laughs> <laughs> my lord. <laughs> A lot of my impressions I'm getting are, parched out here because of this climate change. <laughs> yeah, a lot of my impressions are dog shit, but I think that <laughs> one's okay. I think that one's dead on. Yeah. But uh, it's make, it's really hard for us to bomb children when it's so hot outside. <laughs> we need to come together and Dude, have yeah, a she'll, green military. She'd like play the game with the war machine, right? Yeah. I feel I like she, she would. would. I don't trust her or Biden with that shit. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. She's a real disappointment, though. Yeah, that's why her dumbass fans We're deserve get to get all fucking the plastic out of the military. <laughs> bullied. I we talked about this on the premium episode. I can't stand her fans. I think they are such losers. They seem and like I fucking nerds, them, dude. Yeah, like, but, but but nerds nerds are one thing. Like, I don't even I don't mean nerds in the traditional sense. Yeah, I mean like I read what they say and I'm like, just shut up. Yeah. Like, what the? Why are you? Yeah. They're like they're, they're like, fucking forty nine year old lo- white women who have had health care for decades, yeah. and they're still fucking mad that Hillary lost and, and they're won a mulligan. Losers, yeah, they're straight up losers. Like they're dude. they're they're people who like you have con- you have this contempt for them because you go <laughs> you think that you don't have to try. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. You think just because that you read Harry Potter, or they're whatever like else. they're like insulted by Bernie's existence. Mm-hmm. They're just like uh, how the audacity of Bernie to even exist. Yeah. And they get so mad that so many women love Bernie. It makes me happy. It's yeah, so yeah. funny seeing that. I know. Can you vote for him in the primary? Who knows, man? Come on, man. Just I'll do it. it if you told me to. You want me? To, you yeah, buy me stuff? Sure. Yes, I will. Yeah, I'll buy. I'll I'll you, double the all the snacks that you brought in. I get even. I get. I get. I get four chocolate chip cookies. Hell four yeah. Chip. Yeah. And some cra- dude. I didn't realize this, but like chocolate chip cookies and cranberry. You want to see juice. my wife's tits? If you promise to vote for Bernie, dude. I mean, uh, yeah, sure. All right. After the show. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Anyway, so all right. <laughs> Enough about America. Fucking hellhole. Fucking. Um, You're gonna bring it back around to this. I give it seven minutes. Shithole, I give it seven minutes before we go back to Bernie, and I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. The, but the other thing too about the Warren people is they're 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 losers. <laughs> it wasn't even seven seconds. I know, but I, but they're they're losers and they're snobs, and that's like a, that's a bad combination. Yeah, dude. Fuck that. I haven't had health care in, like, a fucking decade. They turn their nose up at, at Joe Rogan. I listen to Joe Rogan every single day. <laughs> I let him guide me through life. <laughs> That's hilarious that they're trying to act like Joe Rogan's problem. Like, he's like... Mm, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the story here. Oh, huh? let's do it. All right, so... um This is from the LA Times. This week... Now, this article is, I think, a few days old. This week, 19 children were conscripted into a vigilante group that for years has been battling drug gangs in a restive Guerrero state, Eddie Guerrero state. (laughs) Uh, Images published by local journalists of the initiation ceremony in which uniformed rifle-wielding boys performed military-style maneuvers drew outrage across Mexico with human rights officials condemning the exercise as child abuse. So there's a village in this... So the Mexican state... The state of Guerrero is like southern Mexico, I guess near Mexico City. I don't know if Mexico City is in Guerrero. I have no idea. I don't really give two shits. Oh, damn. Because I think learning is fucking stupid. It's fucking gay. Yeah. Fucking... uh, And... uh, And... um, so, so what's happening is the cartel, the cartels are attacking these uh, people, and they're training kids to use weapons. Now, one thing that this sort of reminded me of when I was uh, when I was doing the research for this is is I think one of the most heartbreaking parts of of the wire. Have you seen the wire? Oh yeah. There's a th- th- there's a scene in the wire where Omar is like walking into the projects, and everybody's like running away. Omar come. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also this image of like a four or five year old boy running away. Yeah. And to me, that was like the saddest. He's like running away from. You know, Omar. I think I remember that exact image, yeah. and I just didn't think it was. I I didn't. Now that you say that, that's sad. Yeah. But I was kind of like, man, I wish I was Omar. That's sick. Everyone's scared of you. It's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sick. You and yeah. Omar to be like you and Omar, dude. I mean, it's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late to be Omar from the Wire. Yeah, you know? definitely. You could what, start. You think it was sad you just because a kid has to like kind of like be afraid of all that? Yeah, that's his life. Yeah, it's it's, he's gonna he's got to get used to. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's like. That kid's not going to be normal. You see this little boy, like... Different view on the world than the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's like, that kid's, that kid's fucked now. Yeah, he is, dude. Uh, that's crazy, though. In other parts of the country, they'd see, like, living in, like, the poorest parts of the country is, like, living it up. 
Mm-hmm. Isn't that some crazy stat that if what you're like mean? if you're Okay, this could be completely. Oh, in wrong. other parts of the world, you mean? Just like that, if you live you're in America, you're probably just in like the top five percent of the world. I have seen people say that, and I've yeah. never followed up on it. I just sometimes I'm sure I just, it's if true. it's fun I'm to sure. say, then I'm. Why would I look up and then I can't say it anymore if it's false? Yeah, yeah. right. So why the fuck so, would I look it up? So what they what they say is that uh, if you make twenty eight thousand dollars a year or more, you're in like the top one percent of the entire world. Well, I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe ne- maybe next year. <laughs> Patreon.com, folks. Please uh, support. I, this is my today. I just came from my second day at, at a minimum wage job. Minimum wage, huh? Hell yeah, baby. Minimum wage. Yeah, I'm used to it, but like, you know, when we were like, it was different when we were like 24 mm-hmm. and like he had comedy you dreams and shit. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like when we were like early oh, 30s, to look forward to yeah. And it's like fucking still working a minimum wage jobs, and mm-hmm. the window for comedy's closing. It's like Jesus Christ. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been on the road a little bit, but but yeah, it's, there's no, yeah, it's. Yeah, what are you gonna man. do? Uh, you know. Anyway, I'm sure all Bernie our listeners will fix it all. Yeah, he will. That's why I don't look up when he says all this. Well, all our shit. all our listeners are disappointed with their lives too. Do they? Are they mad that you're into Bernie? Mm-mm. Are they Bernie people? I think most of them are. Yeah. Oh, sick dude, sick dude. He's uh, he's. I've kind of nicely cultivated a nice, mm. li- like a nice little audience. They're cool. Yeah. They're not like uh, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. I have a. Uh, a handful for like my podcast, and they're all nice. Mm-hmm. They're all they're all not like annoying online because mm-hmm. we both see annoying fans online sometimes. Yeah, I've no, I don't really I tell them to fuck off. Yeah, yeah I yeah. want nothing to do with you. Yeah, go I don't have any. Go, I don't have anyone like that. Everyone who bother, ever go bother Louis J. Gomez because <laughs> I don't have time for this. I anyone who tweets at me has always been pretty nice. Mm-hmm. So uh, every once in a while you will get somebody, but it's like you just yeah, you always get a fucking asshole. But like I usually, if I've seen that, I, sometimes I don't nice even finish like, reading. I don't need you. Yeah, I don't finish reading the tweet. Go. Honestly, mm-hmm. I'll just be like, "Oh, it's this," and scan scroll. I'm like, "I'm not reading your shit. I don't care about you." Or really? Me. Yeah. So dude. you so you look at the tweet and it's like fat, and you're like, "Never mind." Well, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say this. Fat. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I don't yeah. get tweeted at. I'm not successful. I don't get tweeted. At. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if if I can tell it's like a negative, I'm not. I mean, and I'm. It's not even like a. Oh, like I really just don't. I don't have that thing a lot of people have where they have to read the negative shit about themselves. Mm-hmm. I really just kind of. I'm like, well, why would I read that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't care about this person. Nice. Um, these kids. So these kids are growing up in uh, these poverty. These kids are growing up in the shit. Yeah, but that's people say that though. They go, so, okay. So that's the thing about real quick about global poverty. They go, oh, if you make twenty eight thousand dollars a year, you're in the top one percent of the world. Which, yeah, that was uh, funny when you said that. Um, but that that <laughs> real does funny. feel real like, funny. <laughs> but 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 to me, I I hate. I don't like when people say that because it feels like this sort of like this sort of propaganda thing where they're like, you should just, you'd better appreciate what you have. Like, they're telling you. Well, yeah, you're saying you can't complain. when 28,000 yeah, is shit. Yeah, it sucks living it on that, sucks. dude. It sucks. Especially, like, somewhere like New York City, 28,000 a year ain't shit, dude. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I don't, I, I'd agree with that. People use it to just be like, oh, suck it up. It's like, no, it's still bad. Like, it's still, yeah. still not All good. the homeless people in San Francisco make 28,000 a year. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> um, but, uh... Yeah, so in this in this specific village, uh, the so the leader the the guy the guy who's training these kids, his name is Bernard Bernardino Sanchez. Bernard Sanders. Bernard. <laughs> uh, there's somebody else named Bernard. I was trying to think of the. Anyway, shut up, you're saying you fucking suck. Oh no, dude. Ah, I fucking. Because I'm gonna think I'm bombing the whole time. So anytime you bomb, I'm gonna be very happy. No, you I'm can't just really say bomb a podcast. No, nah, not really. I guess um, you can try too hard, and then and then it's awkward. But yeah, they must I'm be pre- cool. They must be prepared," said Bernardino Sanchez Luna, who founded the self defense group known as the CRACPF. I'm not really sure what that means. CARCPF. CARCP. Yeah, it's not crap. Yeah, that's like too complicated for like child soldiers. Yeah. He goes, if they are afraid, the criminals will kill them like little chickens. This seems to be what's going on in the in these um, regions where the cartels are targeting, um, they're targeting like business owners and they're targeting indigenous people. Musicians, you see about the musicians that got I, murdered? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're probably just there. about to say that. That's okay. <laughs> I got a whole outline here, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean, but that was one thing where. The documentary Cartel Land, which I I would highly recommend that documentary to anybody who wants to you know, yeah, yeah. learn more about I'll this check stuff. it out. Um, the opening scene is a is a funeral, and there's like they're bury they're burying, I think like nine people or <laughs> something. What <laughs> they're burying? Burying. 
<laughs> you say it like that? Yeah, what? what Am I dumb? Buried? Burying. Yeah, buried? Bury? Buried. Like, yeah. cr- like crunch berry? Like, uh, like, uh, Barry, uh, who's that, that humorist? Barry, B- Dave Barry? Dave Barry, the greatest sad <laughs> humorist of our time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, buried. You don't, like, crunch berry. You, you, am buried. I the weird one? Bur- uh, b- buried? Buried? It's a U sound, yeah. Well, sound off in the comments, everyone. I don't know if there's yeah. comments anywhere, but sound Tweet off. Tweet at Eli and let him know he wasn't raised right. <laughs> um, well, they're, they're bar- Barry. All right, fine. They're putting to rest a family. And basically what happened oh, no. was there was a, yeah, there was a lime. So they don't really. Um, there was this lime farm and the owner of the lime farm refused to pay the cartel. Or a something what like farm? That. Lime. Like, oh, lemon geez. And, like lemon and lime. OK. Like 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 how they make Sprite. Yo, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they step on uh, a bunch of limes. They squash them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's your reference to anything when it comes up. <laughs> yeah, bring it bring it around to something white trash and I'll get it. Yeah, I'll be yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, of course. You know, like as it like red is in Mountain Dew code red. <laughs> uh, but uh, and they're burying this family, and they there's like two babies that they're basically what happened was the cartel killed the laborers that just worked on the fucking farm because the owner of the farm wouldn't pay. That sucks. So yeah, they just uh That's not good at all. They just kill everybody. That sucks, dude. Yeah. That's we like don't get it. Dick move. If you're in a cartel, can you like explain to us why you're <laughs> doing that? I'd prefer just don't contact me. I'd I'd prefer no contact with cartel members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, you can you can contact me. What if what if you get tweeted at by like cartel people, but it's it's shit like uh You can contact me. My name is Eli Sayers and I live at uh <laughs> It's, it's like, like contacted a, by cartel people. They're, they're mad at you in the tweet like, uh, no one, colon, absolutely no one, colon, Mike Racine, retard text. Oh, cartels are bad. I hate cartels. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit. Yeah. Not cartels, fucking hacky Twitter formulas. Oh, right, right, right. I hate it. It fucking yeah, offends yeah. my fucking soul. Yeah. That's uh, why I just I just stay offline. Yeah, I don't, I don't tweet that often. Um, But so it so it seems like... Uh, they they'll just kill anybody. You, know, you see Sicario? It's not like the mafia. Yeah. Now, wasn't there a line in that movie about how they they kill people and like they think oh, oh people think oh they must have done something? Oh, po- maybe. I know it didn't have child shoulders, but it's definitely like the words Mexico and cartel and drugs are in it like yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. It's that sure. kind of movie. I don't sure, understand sure. what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. All I know is that fucking uh. Benicio del Toro is the he makes me so gay. Like he's the most gorgeous man alive. Oh yeah, del Toro, right? That's a hot dude. He's like old though. Benicio, so yeah, his yeah. eyes are fu- like he's lived. I don't know, man. I like that scene at the end where he goes, pops that guy's family in front of him. Dude, that's fucking cold sorry. Spoiler blooded. alert. Yeah, that was that pretty you cool. Spoiled it. That was pretty. No, because you <laughs> should have seen that movie by now. That's a that g- was fucking sick though. That was Sicario. It was fucking crazy. That was Sicario, right? Sick, Sicario. That was Sicario. Sick. So who's who do you think's the hottest guy? The hottest guy? Yeah, because I think it's Benicio del Toro, hands down. Um, I'm off the dome. I don't know. Gosling. Oh, dude, you don't think is that, that hack? No, yeah, that's real hack. Unless you believe it, dude. It's like if you always thought he was hot. It's like if you're a Yankees fan, but you like grew up in the Bronx, yeah. then no one can be mad at you for that. Yeah, it's like a Wisconsin Yankees fan that sucks. Um, that guy Derm- Dermot Mulroney's kind of hot. The Which guy, guy from my best friend's wedding? Oh, I never saw it. Yeah, and he's in like he's in Righteous Gemstones and uh. Oh, who is he in that? The family. He plays Johnny Seasons. He's like older now. No, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Okay, I know you're talking about. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Gemstones. That's a good show. Yeah, good shit. I love it. Good shit. Good shit. Um, but child anyway, soldiers. Yeah, so so uh, it's just kind of weird. I I don't understand the mentality. It seems like these cartels are already so powerful, and they're just like ki- they're just like murdering kids. They're murdering families. Um, and I guess so. But but there's a line. I think there's a line in the movie Sicario where they go, "Oh, they 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 have these brutal deaths. They put these bodies on display." And anyone who sees yeah. these bodies, right, go, oh, they must have done something. Yeah. But in reality, they didn't do anything. Jesus. It's just like a don't fuck with us type of Fucking thing. Fucking butchering them. So I don't understand the mentality behind that. Maybe they're just so hungry for power that they... Like, why just, would like, you do that? At all costs, yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Or it's just a display of, like, look <clears throat> what I can do. 
I, I mean, I guess it's like a power thing. Yeah. Just some fucking sociopath had the right connections and the right resources to rise to fucking power, mm. go all Scarface on everything. But even the mafia, like, they don't kill kids or women. Or yeah, they, they that's a good kill point. They don't kill cops or prosecutors or anything. It's like a... That's a good point. Yeah, so. that's a good point. It's it's someone who, who wronged them. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, those kids... You Italians have a code. We have a code. We, yeah. It's about honor and respect. It is. We just take a kid's father away. <laughs> Not his mother or his dog. <laughs> um, but, yeah, those kids at the end of Sicario fucking deserved it. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Pop those right in there. That was pretty sad. You you were uh, overwhelmed with sadness about a kid running away from Omar, but you just delighted in seeing his kid's family executed. I didn't delight in it. I was like, the, you were just like, it had to be done. But that's such a satisfying moment of that movie because you go, they that 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 should have happened. Because fuck, why is that? Why does this guy's family get to be safe? And he, this Benicio de Toro lost yeah, his wife his and kid, daughter. His wife and kid didn't do nothing though. I mean, that we know of. Yeah. So maybe he should like. But that's uh, a great punishment. But but what he should have rubber is, bulleted. He should have done. He had two guns. Yeah. He should have rubber bullets or something that will mm-hmm. just have an impact on the kid and the wife. And then so the, so the he dude just gives has the time. wife and kid yeah. brain damage. <laughs> well, no, don't shoot him in the head, but hit yeah. him or whatever. Just enough time for the dude to process like, oh, he just killed my family, and mm-hmm. then you shoot the dude, mm-hmm. and then the wife and kid are alive. Yeah. But the dude had to suffer thinking his family got killed. Mm-hmm. Right. I thought it was sick that he took him out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I figured it was happening. I figured yeah. it was coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh I'm a I'm a man full of contradictions. You know? You're so complicated, Mike. I'm a very complicated person. Um, yeah. So this like how you're like voting for Bernie and you hate gay people. Who said I hate gay people? I'm kidding. I just don't think that <laughs> Benicio del Toro is the hottest man. <laughs> if you give me a second, I, I, but I, I I don't know. Give me some guys to choose from. Though. No, you already said. Oh, the other I said Dermot. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so this guy said if they're afraid, if they're afraid, the criminals will kill them like little chickens. Um, two of the children who were trained were six and the oldest member. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so the, the kids that that this town is training, two were as young as six years old. Now here's my thing. You don't just teach a six-year-old to use a gun unless there's not a reason for it. I mean, these people are coming under f- under uh, protest. Yeah, dude. I I had I didn't expect to have mixed feelings when I read this article that mm-hmm. you sent me, but I kind of did. Did you? Because uh, like, yeah, I get it. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you're like using them as fodder, which I mean, let's be honest, that could be what they're actually trying to do. I don't think so, though. You think it's literally just like this is how you defend you? Okay. I think it's like, yeah, I want to protect my kid, and I want my kid to protect himself. And there's only there's the government's not going to do anything, and there's only so much I can do as a parent that that he's going to have to learn how to use a gun if he wants to survive. I mean, look, I'm teaching my kid how to use an assault rifle. Me rifle, too, without a doubt. Yeah, but, yeah, no, but. Uh, I, I, there's a difference between like I'm gonna be arming. Like, if Amy Schumer makes a movie you don't like, <laughs> you fucking take a gun. You go into. The- <laughs> it's just sort of like, look, I worked in comedy for years. I never got famous, but I do know a shortcut for you. Yeah. <laughs> just- Did you see that SNL sketch about the uh, the white male rage? Uh, I saw that it was trending. Yeah. No, is it good or is it bad? It's just a, it's just a song about how like this year the Oscars all about white male rage, and she cited like the Joker and. Oh, cool. Uh, and uh, the Irishman. Oh, wouldn't that be great if you could be if you could like get by on life being that much of a dumbass? <laughs> like that's all you see. <laughs> that's just that's, that, like, that's the only movies you watch. You mean like no? If if like that's how you look at the world. Oh, just like where people are angry and you go up. Oh, white male rage. Must be white male rage. Ah, uh, dude, fuck I'm that. So smart. It's all fucking phony, dude. It's all yeah. clickbait shit, man. That's what. That's how you talk at your like wine and cheese party <laughs> in Carroll Gardens. Yeah, well, they're all fucking like Warren supporters. I don't know. Yeah, they just seem like a fucking lame breed. They're of, lame. Of people. They're lame losers. They seem like fucking losers, dude. Yeah. They seem like fucking nerds. They're not fighters. No, not like these kids. They're not 110 episodes into a podcast. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I think well, you have me on. No, yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. It's going down. It's going down. <laughs> no, it's not going down. It's just, it's just <laughs> stagnated for the past couple of years. I don't, I don't give a shit. Whatever. What do you 111th guest. It's Who attending. fucking cares? Yeah. Did, did you? Okay, so there's a line between arming a kid, teaching mm-hmm. him all this self-defense shit, but it does sound like they are active, encouraging the kids to actively like kind of be out there. Yeah. Fighting. Good. And is that good? Yeah. Like to like encourage a fucking well, this nine is year old to like go seek who who's like 
you know, when you're nine, you're not thinking, right? You're like, oh, I'll just go be a hero. Yeah. And so, like, you're kind of encouraging them to go, and then they're going to get themselves killed. Did your your parents have uh, guns growing up? If I could train my dog to oh. use a gun. Well, yeah, we all would. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. No, my parents didn't have guns growing up. My uh, grandfather had one, but my grandma sold it when oh, he that died. That sucks. I yeah, had, we, my, my parents aren't gun people, but we did. they had guns growing up, but they, they hid them from us. To be honest, I'm not a gun guy either. I've, I've shot guns maybe a couple times in my life, and everybody goes, oh, it's so, it's so cool. But yeah. it's like... I don't know. You push the button and the thing. Yeah, I think it's pretty sick. I prefer jujitsu, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I think it's pretty sick. But uh, yeah. we never found them. We we used to like search for the guns because when we were kids, uh-huh. you know, because wouldn't that be sick? You're a kid and you get to like fuck around with guns. Yeah, like point them at each other. Like, oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna yeah, get yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be fun. If you fun, put dude. one bullet in the in the chamber and you spin it around. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, dude. Take turns. Oh, they should make a game like that. <laughs> they should. I don't know why they haven't. <laughs> Fuck then. Coming from Hasbro. The, you know. Oh, like a, dude. It's like a, it's Russian like a roulette. Dumb, it's like like, yeah, like my first game. Russian roulette. For yeah. <laughs> Fisher Price Russian don't, roulette. Don't, it's, it's like from the makers of um, Don't Wake Daddy Comes Don't Die. <laughs> anyway. Uh, don't let daddy find your corpse. <laughs> yeah. You think there's a God? Yeah. It's just weird to think that, you know, like, I feel like maybe if there was a, like, God probably made the world to be like, oh, I'm going to put a bunch of souls down here and yeah. watch them, you know, clash. It, it, you know, they'll be separated by these bodies and they're going to they're going to clash with each other. And it'll well, be like, interesting. And then like I don't think the, he accounted for like kids getting murdered by drug cartels. Oh, it got it all got out of hand without a doubt. Yeah. But that's why he sent Jesus mm-hmm. to fix it. You don't believe all that? Um. Oh, you crazy for that. Did one, he send like, Jesus? Huh? No, I don't think so. Dang, dude. OK. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, <laughs> Okay. I feel like if there is a God, he's like, F- oh, fuck. I, fu- I don't think he ever imagined it getting this big. <laughs> I think he thought humans, I think he just made, he probably just made It's like animals. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah, intend, yeah. holy shit. This I just wanted <laughs> to rate women's feet. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he probably thought that like the most humans would ever do was like live in tribes, you know? I don't think he imagined that we would be building. Dude, it does kind of feel like with all this shit. Mm-hmm. Try all this crazy weird shit. It feels like, yeah, like the simulation wasn't supposed to go like a video game that is like repetitive stages, and you're supposed to die at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Like the simulation was not supposed to last this long, mm-hmm. and now just everything's glitching out. Everything's just getting fr- thrown at us randomly. Trump is president. Yeah, fucking other, and things. it's just it's just compounding and it's going out of control. It's crazy. Kobe's dying in a helicopter crash. Oh fuck! I forgot about that sad shit. Yeah, that sucks. That's that that. That makes me also feel like, yeah, we're in some kind of alternate universe where... It feels weird. Yeah, Kobe doesn't die in a helicopter crash. That doesn't happen. He survives it. (laughs) (laughs) He puts his daughter on his back and he pulls the parachute and then he waves goodbye to the pilot of the other family that was in there and he survives. Uh, (laughs) Did you see Ari's... uh, People are really mad at Ari, but I I will stand by and say that it is very funny that he hates the Lakers that much. It was the thing is it was so over the top. I don't know how people took it seriously. Yeah, like if he had just been like maybe a little bit disrespect, maybe. But it's so over the top. It's like how how are you even mad about that? Well, the kid, the kid being in the kid being in the thing was. uh, Yeah, but he didn't say anything about the kid, right? But the fact that she died and making fun of it, but but also like, I don't. I always feel pretty left out in these celebrity deaths. I I I don't have I don't get, even when like you haven't died as a celebrity I feel no well like That's when people up, are dude. when people are bummed out about <laughs> yeah <laughs> when am I gonna be a celebrity <laughs> damn Kobe already died and I, I, I haven't even been on network yeah like TV like when yet. you read Wikipedia and you check like I think all of us do this you check yeah. the age of a person when they first got successful yeah and it keeps on going like oh so and so didn't get famous until he was like thirty nine mm-hmm. so I have like mm-hmm. this much time mm-hmm. it was like Kobe. He he fucking got away with rape and died <laughs> by forty one, <laughs> and like I mean, Mike, this is like two of your dreams. This week really was like it was like the Olympics of bad takes. Oh, dude, I I didn't really I fuck just, with it. I yeah. didn't really. I didn't either. I think it, most smart people didn't. I'm 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 getting so much better, even than I was. I don't click articles that make me mad anymore. Yeah, I I tend to not go down like rabbit holes of like oh all these people are complaining about this, mm-hmm. and I think the more people do that, that's like literally the only way it can change mm-hmm. is if more people stop giving them click money and shit like that. Yeah, and then don't reward these retards on Twitter by like responding to them. I yeah, guess yeah. I don't know. Well, because there was there was the shitty leftist take of like stop it. Shitty leftists. 
Michael. There was the shitty, like, communist take of, like, hey, maybe next time you'll ride a train, asshole. And then people also being like, yeah, it's actually good. good oh, yeah. Good that's... to anyone who rides in a helicopter. Oh, that's the edge libs. Or enjoys, yeah. The edge libs, I call them. It's like where they get Fanatic mad at us. libs, for... though. They're, like, more farther left. Okay, well, like, okay, y'all, I forgot y'all do the whole different, different. Y'all are all fucking yeah. nerds to me, all right? Mm-hmm. I'm, like, I vote Bernie, but you're all No, 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 but there's a very, there's a lot of difference. <laughs> yeah, no. We won't get into that right okay, now. Okay, but, uh... The edge libs is the ones who like, like they go out of their way to be like, not only do I know I, I say fuck the troops, like they just like yeah, try yeah, too yeah. hard. Like shut up, dude, you're a fucking yeah. loser. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Edge leftist, I don't know what's a better. And word? I don't, I don't, I would never say fuck the troops because most of those troops aren't very well educated. So <laughs> that's why well, they're doing it. The thing is, like, I grew up with all of them. Mm-hmm. Like all my friends, all fucking went overseas. All my best friends did too. So I'm very anti-war. I want them home, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you know, I don't want them to be out of a job. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, I don't want right. them to get killed. I want them safe. But I right. also, it annoys me when these fucking, like, it's always some rich kids who are always like, oh, fuck the troops. Like, yeah, you're not the yeah, one. Yeah. You've never been in the situation where I almost joined the military because I was like, what the fuck else am I going to do? Yeah. You know? Good did thing you, you found comedy. <laughs> Good thing you found roast battles. <laughs> did you Did you almost join the military? No, I'm flat-footed. It was like just never in the cards. Well, you can't if you're flat-footed? Because, um, I, don't, I don't think you can join the army. You can join the navy if you're flat-footed. But I have, like, severely flat feet. It was weird because I had three f- close friends in high school. And we were all just, like, you know, like, we watched, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson movies. Yeah, we were, but we were, like, smart and we read books and stuff. And <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson movies. Yeah, y'all were geniuses, <laughs> No, dude. but I mean, we thought, yeah, we thought that we were, like, sm- we, like we thought that we were smarter just than Just going around quoting, there will be blood, like, scholars. Yeah. <laughs> I get what you mean, dude. That uh, for high school, that's good. I get what you mean. Yeah, we yeah. were like into yeah, you know, yeah. We were like into, into the arts, the yeah, yeah. arts and I was yeah, too. I was, I was you know, me and my friends liked ICP. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> miracles. <laughs> I've I've spent most of my life. Uh, I've never been a juggalo. I've spent a lot of my life juggalo adjacent, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, whatever gets you through. You know, hey, you know, I think they're, you know, they did a, they're inspiring how, what they've done. Yeah. I listened to that song Miracles the other day. Hell yeah. And, and you I did. was like, somebody loves this song. I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's too, it's too dumb for me to even like kind of, you know, laugh at. But I was like, some, this means so much. This song means so much. What, to what's somebody. the dumbest, uh, lyric music that you authentically like? Limp Biscuit. Oh, I like, yeah, yeah. I think we've actually talked about it. Biscuit and Kid Rock, I yeah. think. I think Kid Rock's funnier than most comedians. Mm-hmm. I think he's in on his own joke. Mm-hmm. And him, Eminem, Biscuit, they're all talented, man. They're yeah. all, I love that fucking garbage ass shit, dude. That's the thing I love when people act snarky to someone who is, yeah, clearly in on their own joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he's, like, he's like self aware. And he's making tons of money. And mm-hmm. like, if you're like, if you're like trying to like deliver, like, you're trying to artistically, you're trying to critique the merits of. Kid Rock's art, you lost the discussion. Yeah. Because you don't get it. Yeah, so, sayonara. Anyway, let's get back to this bullshit. Oh, yeah, this fucking article, dude. All right, so it says, over the Sorry last seven years... Sorry about shit. That's okay. Dozens of community police forces have emerged, and Guerrero Lang claims to a constitutionally protected right that allows indigenous groups in the state to create systems of self-governance. They say that defending themselves against local criminal gangs that can cr- control drug smuggling routes and extort money from businesses in the region... Critics claim the vigilantes are frequently involved in criminal activity. Sanchez, that, that his group, which patrols the rural highlands east of uh, Chilpancingo, decided to begin training children in self-defense after the January 17th killing of a group of indigenous musicians. There it is. Now, I started looking, about, looking at this. On January 17th, the cartels killed a couple vans full of musicians. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. Which was fucked up. And and, and I was trying to figure, like, I was As Googling, long as it wasn't a ska band, like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Or like, uh... I don't know, what's another kind of annoying? It's another kind of annoying. An improv troupe. A ten-person improv. They killed Mexicans' number one improv troupe. Yeast-y? How do you say Yes, and is yeast C-E? Yeast. God, I'm an idiot. We always say C. C, eh? <laughs> okay, so like we need a suggestion of like the zip and just all. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the audience wasn't really laughing, but I'm having fun. So I am a farmer Fuck. again. <laughs> just just a farmer my... every time. <laughs> 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 I'm a farmer. Oh no, my child is dead. <laughs> right. right, they're like <laughs> just bums everyone out. <laughs> we need a suggestion. Oh no, the cartel. <laughs> uh, how about corn? He's like, I know we always do corn. How about something else? Wheat. Oh, wheat. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the cartels, so this 
this mus- this musical group, they were leaving a gig. I fucking dropped my dog on the floor. Yeah, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I know. <laughs> Uh, it's a prison um and uh yeah so so they're 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 coming up from a gig and the the cartel like stabbed shot them stabbed them burned them alive their bodies weren't recognized they're just an indigenous sensation is the is the musical is the name they i'm sure they have an instagram page or you know like a myspace or something you know what's really fucked up it was actually uh selena's backup band Oh, it was? Yeah, the rest of them got stabbed, too. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah. They survived the Selena killing <laughs> only to be murdered by the cartel. I'm sorry. It's a sad thing. I shouldn't... Uh, all respect to these... It is sad, man. Like mm-hmm. I re- read that article. I got legit pretty bummed out. I was like, damn, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm happy I live in America. We're, we're keeping these people out of our country. <laughs> um, but... Uh, <laughs> no uh, Mexican improv trips. Yeah. Mexican president, so this guy, Mexican president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. They have a lot of names, huh? Was That's elected. one dude? Yeah. Holy Andres shit. Manuel. I thought that was like his whole family. It's a lot. It's a lot of names. God. Uh, so he was elected in 2018 on a promise to combat crime by giving poor Mexicans better economic opportunities. This part of the article is pretty funny. The strategy, which he dubbed Hugs Not Bullets, has so far been unsuccessful with the country reporting more than 35,000 homicides last year. You mean like the cartels didn't rethink it when he called it hugs don't not bullets? Yeah, they weren't like, oh, hmm. They didn't like. <laughs> now this is actually kind of an interesting, uh, kind of an interesting policy because this policy is sort of set around like we're going to create economic opportunities for for the youth of Mexico so they don't feel like they have to, um, you know, and like go into crime or be violent. Yeah, I mean that's true. I mean, yeah, helping fixing economics. I mean, it's got to help put a dent in crime, right? Like, yeah, that's why um, vote for Gary Johnson and we'll. Uh, yeah, get we'll leave you productive alone. again and leave everyone alone. And fucking, uh, uh, so they didn't, uh, uh, dude. But I feel like people have criticized that policy, but that is that is probably the best policy, but it's also an ambitious one. So I feel like people who are being, uh, and that's, pro- I mean, that's probably the right thing to do, I guess, right? It's either, I mean, it's either that or you send the. I feel like you, you should just the, do that anyway, mm-hmm. like try to help poor people anyway. Yeah. But maybe. You shouldn't be like, this will stop all the killing. Yeah. Hugs, not bullets. Because they're not going re- <laughs> to. I'm picturing like I Sonny, mean, I mean, it's Sonny coming up in The Godfather at that. Like, uh, what was he at? Like a fucking. Uh, oh, the intersection. The booth, the intersection. And oh, just yeah, yeah. getting hugged over and over Until by people and screaming. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is gay. <laughs> look, he look just disowned. <laughs> yeah. Look how they hugged my boy to death. <laughs> That's what they're offended about. Everyone got gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they killed himself. <laughs> they just hugged him until he decided to <laughs> kill himself. Um, yeah. So, so there's this whole thing where n- now, yeah, that is a very sort of ambitious. Oh, and then I think Trump tweet. I don't know when he Here tweeted this, but he had some tweet where he was like. We're gonna wage war on these cartels like you've never <laughs> seen before, and he so the president. That, he says yeah. that about everyone, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> that's so funny. He, uh, well, he put Which up. Is, that's but how that he does seem like the logical thing to do. These these cartels are like they're murdering kids, they're extorting businesses, they're you know. Yeah, I know those things aren't the same level of crime. Wait, extorting businesses and killing kids? Yeah. Well, it seems like one might lead to the other, which is no good. Yeah. Dude, it's like in Jaws when when the when the guys like. New York, I got, I had enough in New York City. All the rapes, the murders, the rip, the ripoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Funny line. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Your Brutal son rapes. was murdered. I'll be right with you, ma'am. I'm cold, just working on cold-hearted murders. <laughs> and this shifty Chinese guy overcharging me for this spray-on T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bought this wind-up frog for my daughter, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There's like one piece of meat on this turkey sandwich. <laughs> you call this a turkey sandwich? I heart MW. Who the yeah. fuck hearts MW? It's NW. Yeah, yeah. NW? NY. Dude, I'm mm. dumb as hell. Yeah, NY, you're out of it today. NY. 
Yeah. Yeah, today, okay. that's it. <laughs> Not just I'm stupid. <laughs> just I'm real out of it today. Yeah. yeah, so now so now it's this whole thing in this village where people are criticizing that they're that they're giving these kids guns. There are some images if you if you Google this article, there, there's mm. some images of like some you know a, like a six year old kid and he's he's not holding a gun but he's fucking bring them up, dude. Yeah, pull them up, pull up the images. Where is it? I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think we have time. <laughs> yeah, but he's like he's like holding a gun or no, he's holding a stick and you're like, yeah, this is a bummer because this is these kids. It's going to normalize this. For these a kids kid. can't afford a real gun. But then uh, yeah, but then the other side of that art, uh, the other side of that argument is um. You know, people being like, you can't make kids do this. And then the other and then the, the people in the village are like, uh, yeah, they're going to get killed. The cartel is just going to kill them if they don't. So they should. So it's like at least let them. Uh, so like the village, um, the village just kind of would know better than anyone. Like I kind of trust that's how I, feel, I trust yeah, that, like, the people who are there, like individual like areas mm -hmm. know better what's best for them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're saying that there should probably be like states rights like. Um, yeah, I think people probably know how to govern themselves yeah. better, I would think. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's like it is like fucked up. So you're kind of saying like the north. So you're saying the north was wrong in the Civil War, basically. I'm saying that that's yeah. cool, man. It's cool that you admitted I know, that. I was just thinking. That's I was cool. just thinking that it's the same logic. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Hey, life's complicated. <laughs> I know. We'll always be like, oh, we shouldn't. We shouldn't tell Middle Eastern countries how to govern, and then we'll be like. <laughs> We'll but we'll govern the fuck out of uh, the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our our Middle East, the yeah. South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I love the South, dude. I love it. It's, yeah, uh, it's wild. Maybe they like fucking their sister. Well, they're like mad at them for trying to like secede, but then most of the takes when Trump was like, "Why can't the Reds? Why do red states even exist?" Like, they want mm -hmm. them. They also want them to secede. They want yeah. them to go go away. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do you want, lady? Yeah. Lady Liberty, I don't know whoever. Dude, I love yeah, I love when Californians are like, "Good luck with that, our economy, assholes." Like your economy is not; it's based on sand. <laughs> your economy is apps that unlock your door. <laughs> You're a th There's going to be a violent revolution, and all the homeless people are going to take. They're going to raid your offices, and they're going to take your job. Dude, and they're Zorro. probably going to do them better because I don't think it's that hard. Dude, yeah, with the fucking Silicon Valley shit. Yeah. Oh, I'll bet I could do it. You think? No, no, but it can't be that hard. But I'll bet, like, if I, um, what do you do in tech? You just eat free cereal and like. It, if I decided to, yeah, and like devoted a few years, yeah, I I'm wanted, sure if I, I could. really wanted to. Yeah, I like I think people. anyone could. Yeah, I could be one of the higher. I'm like ups. comedy, so everyone, please fucking quit already. One of the higher ups at Google. Yeah, <laughs> you want to do Google? I want to be. Um, I don't know. I'm not like maybe I'm a contrarian. I'll do like Yahoo or some shit. You know what's so funny that I I picked up a, an issue of Ink magazine a few years ago, like tattoo they, shit. No, like Ink, like Inc. Oh, the boring shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like business. Oh God. And uh, it was um, they were profiling the CEO of this like sort of online storage company, like Dropbox. Nice. And the company is just called Box. <laughs> <laughs> The CEO of Box. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of rude. It's probably in San Francisco, too. Yeah. It's, like, so rude to so many homeless people who live in boxes. <laughs> no, but also, yeah, like, meet the CEO of Beaver. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't even thinking about pussy. Oh, you weren't? Oh, you no, weren't? I was yeah. just thinking about the word Obviously box. I'm like, that's a funny word. See, I'm always thinking about pussy. <laughs> so. I'm gay as fuck, dude. You heard what I said about Benicio? Mm -hmm. It's all right. <clears throat> you're, too, it's too, you're too old to come out, though. I'm too old to come out. Yeah, yeah be weird. Probably. Be yeah, everyone's stupid. accepted you as a heterosexual. Yeah, they already just Your know me. They know me as such a fucking pussy slayer. Yeah, just it's like it would just shock people too much. Like that fucking a, just such a man's man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, no. They'd be like, people would be mad and sad and confused. Yeah, <laughs> they're heroes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world's been turned upside down. Um, all right, you want to hear some? Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, that sucks. Life's fucked up. The cartels are killing kids, so we got to give the kids guns. That's my that's my bottom line. Hell yeah, dude. I'm 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 all about that. You want to hear some fun facts about child soldiers? I do. All right. Here's uh, so there's a list of uh, there's a list of eleven that I found. I I wrote down three. Mm -hmm. One is child soldiers are any children under the age of eighteen who are recruited by a state or non armed group and used as fighters, cooks cooks <laughs> suicide bombers human shields messengers spies or for sexual purposes i think it would be funny if like yeah 
<laughs> that's a shit I'd do. I'd be like too much of a of pussy. Course, I'm yeah. like, I cook, you know, yeah, I can, yeah. but even yeah. that isn't, I'm not good at cooking. So you're not, good, I no. am. I'll teach you uh, how to cook. I, I can cook when I try. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, the, the fucking groceries, the prep, the cleanup, yeah. it's all too much for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. When I do it, I, I do pretty good. Yeah. I like, um, I'm pretty good. At, I like, uh, I make gumbo and jambalaya. I'm pretty yeah. good at that. Imagine just having to face like an international war crimes tribunal because you like made rice for an army. Oh, that's how you end up being used for the sexual yeah, favors so. part of it. Well, that's the other thing too. Imagine if you're just being, if you're like a hot boy and just being used for sexual favors, and you're like, actually, I was wondering if I could come out and grab, <laughs> I, can I grab an AK-47? Can I fight? And <laughs> slit, slit women's throats with you? <laughs> Are you just gonna fuck my ass all day? <laughs> I mean, am I, am I ever gonna get promoted to, um, yeah, murderer? Because it kind of, you know. It kind of sucks. Yeah, being, that's like some shit where it's molested like molested all day, every day. That's some shit where it's like, why, why even get like, if you're gonna go as far to uh, like abuse someone sexually, mm-hmm. like you can just do. I mean, you shouldn't, but like you can if you're one of those no, guys. You, you can do it to, shouldn't. <laughs> you you can, should never abuse someone. But you could do it to anyone. It doesn't even have to be kids. Are there people in the like groups who are like begrudgingly like, all right, kids is all we got for for the no, for the sex? No, lives. those people are lazy. Yeah. Okay. They're just like it's right in front of me, so I'll. Uh, yeah. Okay. Those people, in my opinion, they aren't real soldiers. They want someone easy to impress. A real soldier yeah. forces himself yeah, on yeah, an adult. Yeah, yeah. I was actually doing a joke about that on stage where, like, I, if I was single, I would have to date 10-year-olds because they're the only ones impressed with my life. <laughs> um, That's funny, dude. Thanks. Anyway, childs, uh, this is kind of funny, children who are poor, uh, displaced from their families, have limited access to education or live yeah. in a combat zone are more likely to be forcibly recruited. Um... Which yeah, I guess that I guess that makes sense. Uh, it it adds up to me. It adds up to me. Your dad's got a good job, and you're like, Dad, guess what I'm into? <laughs> yeah. Like it's a weird hobby. <laughs> um. Yeah, that does add up <laughs> if they have no parents. <laughs> uh, this is probably my favorite fact about child soldiers. If child soldiers are released, they often lack basic survival skills because they were supplied food and shelter in battle. This makes it difficult for them to survive. Uh, if and when they become free. Holy shit. Kind of an un... Not something you would figure. I didn't even think about it. I, I figure they're the toughest motherfuckers alive. So yeah. it's like... Well, they probably just go find a gun and do things that way. Right, because that's like what they know. <laughs> that's what they know. They know how to yeah. use a gun. That's like their books. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty sick. That could be a fun sitcom. Like, you know, she's a she's a girl from... She's a girl from Montana. He's a former <laughs> child soldier. <laughs> they're just trying to make it in, together in a big city. You know? Fucking uh, Boy Meets World reboot. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess we're going to wrap up this part of the show. Oh, really? Unless you got anything else. Oh, I don't got nothing else. No? No. We do- we're done, though? Well, this is... I'm at the end of my outline. Oh. Uh, do you want... You got to say anything about child soldiers, or... No, I got to... You're, oh, you're You're calling someone else, though, for the other part? Yeah. And I'll... But I'm not in the other part. Well, you can be if you want. Oh, I don't want to interrupt or nothing like that. Yeah. But it's like awkward. Okay, it's like She's a little a too early. It's a little too early for me to go, but... Oh, so you just stay at my house. It's six four. No, I'm not going to do that. That would be unbearably uncomfortable, but... But we could, like, clown on the podcast a little bit more. Unless you like okay. to keep it short and sweet. I don't know. It's okay. No, we could do that. We could do another few minutes. Yeah, let's talk about... Uh, um, ooh, I almost said child something else. Child soldiers... <laughs> Child, so, all right. So, what else is the, uh, yeah? Because that's the only things you think about. It, like when you say child and it's something illegal, mm-hmm. what else is there besides pornography? Yeah, porn and. So every time I'd read those articles, that would like pop in my head. Mm-hmm. Oh, about. Uh, no images of child pornography that I've seen pop <laughs> back. <laughs> no, dude. No, right. no, no. Uh, yeah, I just wonder, I, like, I guess what I would wonder is what are the effects of, uh, you know, teaching these kids? I wonder if the kids are going to have to fight the cartels. I mean, I think they will. Also, it part of me kind of worries that the uh, the unintended consequences are going to be b- greater than what they're trying to do, which is keep the kids safe. Yeah, I don't think, look, if I was like fucking nine with a gun, I don't mm. think I'd do always the right thing with that gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you just like, you know, you like to clown around with your friends and shit. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, what are you going to do? I would like, yeah, I would like to right, see. Right, it's like you haven't gotten pubes yet, so you want your friends to think you're cool, so <laughs> you got to do something. Yeah, I wonder the consequences. It would, Dude, if it works, that's going to be a huge win for the gun people. 
Mm-hmm. They'll point to that shit. They'll mm-hmm. be like, actually, this stat, fucking, well. if you're raised, and then they're going to argue, like, okay, kids should have guns now. Mm-hmm. Which I'm not saying is right or wrong. Right. TBH. It's also going to be a win for the social justice crowd, because they'll be like, hmm, so these... Mexican children can handle their guns, but white men, as soon as they get a gun, <laughs> oh, they dude. go and shoot up. Oh, yeah, there will be some good takes. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. Yeah. So you think Bernie's going to win? Um, I think Biden might beat him, but I think after we win Iowa and New Hampshire, we have a good shot of... Uh, I like that confident talk. Yeah. Dude, Biden He's seems still senile. He's senile. He's an asshole. His policies are terrible. His son's a cokehead. Oh well, that's fucked up. I uh, I uh, feel like we'd just be getting like an old school Republican, like a George H mm-hmm. W Republican. You would be. That's like him and Hillary and Elizabeth. They're all like fucking Republicans. Dude. So, so what's funny about Biden is is he sort of is like uh, he he's like I think people might sort of perceive him as as being tough or being no nonsense. Oh, dude, but corn pop <laughs> certainly does. Well, Bill Maher uh, tweeted that. He was like, this isn't the guy who stared down Corn Pop. Something's <laughs> going wrong. Like, yeah, so, that's actually, so I like that Bill Maher impression. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> well, so that means that Bill Maher heard that Corn Pop story and he was like, yes. Oh, dude, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he was like, it like made his dick hard. I, I doubt it's that difficult to seem like a tough person to Bill Maher. Yeah. Like, by comparison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's a, he's not a hard ass. Wait, so you're saying it's funny that people do think he's a hard ass? Well, yeah. So he's been he, there's there's been some moments on the campaign trail where he's like being kind of a dick, to but to voters like people ask him questions. Oh, I saw a thing about that. So, yeah. So there was one like recently, and then there was another one where some guy asked him about immigration, and he was like, "Vote for Trump, then, okay? Vote for Trump." It just was very dismissive and shitty to the guy. That's not a winning strategy. No, he called another guy fat. <laughs> Wait, now I'm kind of liking him. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he, he tries to call the guy Jack, and he's like, now look fat. I mean, look, Jack. The guy is kind of overweight. Dude, old-timey insults are hilarious. Jack, yeah. Jack. Um, <laughs> he's going to issue an apology for that, for saying Jack. Yeah. But so my, so my theory is that... Uh, Somebody told him to do what Trump is doing or what Trump did in 2016, which is like to like not not give a fuck and be kind of a bully. Oh, but Trump never bullied like voters who could potentially vote for him. No, he he sucked up to the voters. He sucked up to the voters and he bullied like Ted Cruz and he bullied the establishment. Yeah, Biden should be bullying fucking uh, Obama. (laughs) <laughs> that would be he, funny, should be, he should be bullying Michelle Obama. <laughs> you know, folks, I don't know. I've I've never seen uh just look at the photos. How can you not think she's a man? <laughs> he just turns on the Obama family. Biden in trouble for saying the word knackers. <laughs> yeah. Well Obama hasn't endorsed him yet, which is kinda funny. It'll probably happen. I you know, I got a theory though. Obama like I think he probably realizes everyone knows he's like a fucking dweeb now. Mm-hmm. And so the only way he could like get cool again is if he endorsed Bernie. So what if he did that? Um, he doesn't want Bernie to win because it, it's going to overshadow his legacy. And then when Bern, if if Bernie becomes the president, people are going to realize how sort of oh like, that's a good point. Obama's presidency was. So he has an interest in. He wants someone who's going to like assassinate relatively as many citizens with a robot as he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wants like similar. He needs to that him, to like, stay to, normal. To stay, yeah. That's interesting, dude. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. But it's so funny that I, th- I feel like somebody on Biden's team was like, just get out there and like, you know, be like, be like Trump a Fucking little bit. Idiot. Be a little bit like Trump. Just be like, be a dick. That's what Bernie's and doing. He was though. like, yeah, you don't like me. Why don't you suck my dick? <laughs> well, you, you can blow me. All right. Do a push up competition. You can blow to like a to like an elementary school. <laughs> like, yeah, like a, like <laughs> like a, a kid, little girl. Right? <laughs> yeah. To the Girl Scouts. <laughs> Mr. Biden, why did you support the crime bill? And what, what was your thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Wait. I'll tell you what. <laughs> These streets were crawling with poof. <laughs> well, why don't you go and vote? Oh, wait, you're a woman. You can't. <laughs> yeah. Just that in the past. Bernie's kind of doing that shit, though. He's, like, calling out everyone and yelling shit. He's calling out the right people, though. Yeah, and, yeah. He's, and he's authentic about it. Biden, it's fake. Yeah. Well, I think it was a great idea to keep doing the pod. I think I'm we really glad we did it. <laughs> no, but, but all, I mean, all I want to say is it, it's, it's crazy how... Um, I mean, the last four years in this country have been just the way that, like, people on either side of the aisle, like, first of all, more people are engaged, too, but people just don't you're trust. Engaged. Yeah, I never was before. I'm talking about, like, well, when you're married now. Oh, politically engaged. No, just engaged, engaged is what I meant. Yeah. I'm being I, very funny. 
I am. Um, yeah, that was a that was a fucking <laughs> winner, dude. It's awesome. This um, is why you kept me here for these <laughs> these last ten minutes or so. <laughs> Great call. You're like that kid that comes over to your house and you're like, all right, and you're like, and he like finds a way to stay in, at your house until eight o'clock. At you night. buy me. You treated me better than almost anyone beaten. has. You bought me these mm-hmm. cookies. You. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am one of the best. Yeah. You were going to make a point, though, before I said that hilarious thing. The point I was going to make was that, yeah, what the fuck was my point going to be, Eli? Oh, I really fucking derailed it. No. I bet it was a great point. No, you you were saying more people were engaged. It's funny because oh, more, more people. Peop- uh, so more people are engaged, but more more and more people realize that these institutions that we used to sort of respect are yes. just bull. It's like all shit. It's all garbage. In that sense, like, it's already a moral victory for Bernie. It's a moral victory. In that sense. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not going to get an actual victory. Mm-hmm. Maybe he will. Yeah. But, uh, more like, people fucking... People get people, people know, are so people more know aware now. Up. And maybe they always did. I don't know. I think you, But Democrats, well, the fucking Warren people, they just want someone... They don't want someone who's not going to take us to war. They want to go back to Obama when it was okay yeah. to pretend war wasn't happening. Yeah. They just pretended they Obama's it. war cries. They, they, they wanted... They, they will do the same thing with Warren. Yeah. They do the same with Biden. They would just... Be good, good, happy liberals, and no, we're the good ones. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. turn a blind eye to all this shit that's going on because their life is in effect. And they don't give a fuck about people who are actually suffering no, and they actually don't. need they help. Fucking, they don't. No. Give, they don't, they're like above that. It's like a fucking. And I'm so glad we got to talk about this too because these people are driven by just being fucking snobs. By being they're, boring, yeah. By being boring snobs who lecture people. They, I think that they get off. That's what they get off. They're on. the new conservatives because the conservatives, mm-hmm. they're you know, they're all fucking wonky or whatever now. And I'm yeah. not even like I'm like I don't know what I'm somewhere in the middle. Of, I'm you know I'm whatever. But like yeah. I uh, fucking uh, they're the new conservatives because they're just having a reaction to change. Mm-hmm. The the reaction against Bernie is a reaction to. They change They're like no the things the things are good they just can't they can't comprehend that they're not the good ones because mm-hmm. they've been their whole lives they've been the righteous ones they've right. been the good ones and they never and had now to question their, yeah, their world they've never had to do it it's, no it's, you've uh, you've lived in a fucking rich ass neighborhood in fucking Tacoma Maryland right. or some right. shit which right. I don't know about the rest of the Tacoma but they the part that I was guy. in Maryland was very rich yeah well they see a homeless guy on the street and they go oh it sucks for him he yeah, must have yeah. made some bad life choices yeah 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 well even the ones who aren't like that even the ones who are like compassionate it's still mm-hmm. like just like paint by numbers shit where yeah. it's like okay i care about uh this issue with immigration i care about poor people if they're the kind of color that i like to they they, they feel empathy for like okay if it's a if it's a black poor person and they're the they're the good poor people and then the white poor people are the bad poor people fuck them whereas well, the bernie white, the white poor people deserve it and they, they must have done something <laughs> to put themselves there yeah yeah whereas the black poor people yeah, I, yeah. I feel bad for and uh you know and, uh, uh, Look, black people, poor people rule too. I just think poor people rule. But Bernie, I think, is just for everyone. Like that's why, like, he doesn't give a fuck. He's about your, even if it's like you're wrong about, like, he just wants everyone to have like shit, mm-hmm. like healthcare. And I have no idea if it works. I'm just kind of bored, and I'm like, fuck it, let's try it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> well, Killer Mike had a great thing where he he gave some speech. I consider like, you Killer Mike. Thanks. No problem. You hear that? Real Killer Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he gave some speech where he was like, you know, I, I like I always thought like as a black man, I've been denied. And he's like, that's true. But also like women have been denied. Yeah. Disabled people have been denied. So that's how we need to think about. That's how I think we should think about our politics is trying to help everybody. Yeah, and maybe dude. that's idealistic and not practical or whatever. But it's probably not. But know. it's like I, but unless you're helping people economically, what do you dude, practical just doesn't seem to actually work. Mm-hmm. So let's go. Even if people were like, ah, oh, Bernie's in a fan. And I'm not enamored. I'm not mm-hmm. like some Bernie guy. Yeah. Well, you don't read. Very yeah, much. I don't read. I don't know how to read. You don't know how to read. Yeah. But uh, fucking, uh, uh, and I'm extremely anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, what were we talking about? Um, we were talking about. Uh, <laughs> Sicario? Yeah, that yeah. thing was crazy, dude. Anti-Semitic. Nah, dude. No, nah, no. Nah. He's he's all for, uh, I, I'm fine with like everyone criticizing him like, ah, oh, it's a fantasy. It'll never work. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I'm bored. Right. <laughs> Do it. People are suffering. Let's th- fucking throw something. I don't know. Throw something. Throw something at them. Well, I guess what I want, the point that I wanted to make is people are starting to realize that like all these institutions that we used to trust are just, it's nothing. It's people sort of protecting the system doesn't work for regular people. And you have all these people who like s- sold us really hard on the Iraq war. God. Being like, yeah, he's not. I don't think he's going to do it, everybody. Like, like, you should have any ounce of credibility. But, don't, it, you but don't people think are waking up it. to that. They're like people who sold us the Iraq war are saying that Bernie's Bernie not can't. Yeah, that Bernie can't win. Dude, and fuck we know all it's them. bullshit. And we know they're full of shit. And, and they I'm just, so like, happy because I've hated snakes and we don't trust them. Yeah, I've hated uh, I've hated these assholes my whole life. You call them liberals, I guess. But you think you're different than a liberal. Yeah, I'm not. A okay, liberal. cool. I cool. I'll, I, I, I'll explain it to you. After I, I will not. Yeah. T- however you want to identify. It's cool. Mm. 
and I think you're probably you're probably right, but the Democrats in general. I didn't grow. I was raised conservative, but I was mm-hmm. not more apolitical. But I, I I fucking thought the Democrats were frauds and shitty this whole time, and I'm so happy that everybody does. I'm so happy that now the left, yeah, now now I think what you're calling like the left actually yeah. like they they fucking hate them too. Yeah, it's so fucking cool. Great, love love it. It's beautiful. It's like I go home for Thanksgiving now, and I have something. Uh, we have some common ground with my family. Are they are they into I Bernie? Text my mom. Um, they like they could maybe like my grandma has said a couple times, you know. That she likes Bernie, I, I think she watches too much Fox News to ever <laughs> vote for him or actually support him. But there, there have been times, and she's, and then my mom like kind of likes him, but also I don't think she'll ever vote for him because yeah. she's just too much like, she's got that Fox News brain. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. But, I think I think you could get across. I think that like, uh, but it's nice to have that common ground with your family where you go, "Hey, Bill Clinton's a rapist, huh?" <laughs> or just whatever it is. You know, there's certain people that you attack. You attack. You attack the establishment. Do you think there Everybody were child? The you think there were child soldiers on Epstein's island? Um, Anyone no, indigenous? No. Any kids that were indigenous got turned into like child sex soldiers? <laughs> yeah, Galen was. Yeah. Like, what if we find out that the island was actually just like Jamaica or right. something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like one of these big islands that we knew about. Galen he just took was it like, over. Darling, and... here's a hundred dollars to fuck off. <laughs> That's how rich <laughs> Epstein was. Leave he us just, alone. Yeah, he just, just paid bought, off the... bought fucking Cuba. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, shout out fan Don't don't fuck kids my, everyone I was talking to my uncle Over Christmas And he was like He like brought up Obama And I was like Yeah well Obama's an elite He's like Yeah I know I hate elites I was like yeah I, Ooh, hate, I, yeah. I, I, hate, I hate John McCain too And he goes I know I'm glad he's dead Damn so he Did he really him. Yeah That's funny Yeah Yeah dude uh, Bonding over hating Obama That's gonna unite this country mm-hmm. Cause uh, You know Poor white people Don't care for Obama So much Yeah Why is that uh, economic the, reasons Yes yeah. Entirely Economic reasons <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah What did this I mean it's like disappointing though Warren too To see these people Sort of like Have this progressive message You saw that farther right. Dude it was hilarious it's a, bum, it's a fucking bummer When she, when Elizabeth Warren Tried to be cool And said some shit about like Dump the guy who's ghosting you Or something like that I'm like dude lady Pathetic. You're embarrassing yourself <laughs> but, but, but I'm so glad That that's not representative Of most people what Elizabeth Warren? Yeah. Oh no, that, dude. That menta- that dumb like. Dude, well that's the thing, dude. Mentality. I I fucking uh I uh, at first I thought that whole like Bernie Sanders is mean to Elizabeth Warren people was just kind of like, like I thought it was made up, mm-hmm. but then I saw some actual exchanges, and now I do think that the Warren people deserve to be bullied. Mm-hmm. Like it's a good thing that yeah. y'all are doing that. Yeah. I'm not saying y'all don't do it like other people. I'm saying it's good that you're doing that, yeah, and please yeah. keep doing it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, they got to learn somehow. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're gonna wrap up this this part of the show. I'll be right back with an interview with. Uh, <laughs> what if I kept trying to stay? I, I know you probably. I mean, you're welcome to stay. <laughs> no, I gotta go do this show. All right, you, now you it are is. that kid who like stays at your house till ten o'clock because his dad's beating. <laughs> well, y'all got food in your damn <laughs> pantry. Oh my god! Your cupboard's got food in it. You got snacks. <laughs> your mom like makes him a platter and like gives him clothes to take home. Did you have? <laughs> he doesn't have any. <laughs> he's got holes in his pants. Did you have snacks yeah. growing up? What's that? Did snacks? you have snacks? We had some snacks, yeah. I was always jealous of kids that had snacks, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to apologize for my father's success. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this like uh, Trump. part one. Sorry. I'll see you guys. Can I plug uh, my yeah, podcast? Yeah, please. I'm sorry. Uh, my podcast is uh, going to be back in a few weeks. We took a break, but there's a lot of episodes you want to listen to. It's called The Roast Ghost. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Google Pods and YouTube. We got video open on YouTube. You were on one, right? Yeah. Yeah, we made fun of, uh, we roasted a celebrity. We roasted Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. For uh, being a uh, fat looking. Oh, oh, I can't think of anything else he did. Uh, uh, no, I can't either. Yeah. yeah Pretty upstanding that, guy. Pretty good dude, and I feel bad for making fun of him. Decent, yeah. yeah, yeah. Family man. All right, end your episode. I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> thanks everybody. We'll uh, catch you later. Yeah, it's not, we're not done. We got more show. <laughs> we got more show coming right up. <laughs> We're talking to a friend of mine who's a social worker. She specializes in, uh, what do you do again? It's uh, I specialize in adult, child and adolescent <clears throat> therapy. Mm-hmm. So I have a specialty in juvenile justice, childhood trauma, and mental health. Nice. So is it a good idea for these people to give six-year-olds guns to fight the drug cartels? 
Oh, it's a great idea. Um, no, obviously it's a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. Um, my six-year-old. Is but is it a sick. net positive? Is it a net positive? Well, I mean, depending on who's. I mean, they are, you know, fighting drug wars and shit. So I guess that, you know, makes them resilient and strong. Mm-hmm. But no, obviously we don't want six-year-olds with guns. Mm-hmm. Um, the brain does not fully develop until the age of 25, which is why teenagers who I generally love working with are just stupid. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't. you don't have the brain capacity um, to make the decisions or to weigh, like, risk or consequences. Right. Now, and, to, you know, to give a six-year-old a gun... I mean, obviously, if you look at it in a cultural, in a cultural standpoint, yes, that is what's going on there. But it's obviously not a good idea to give children guns and teach them how to um, fight against drug lords. But what are you going to do if you, if that's how you need to survive? Yeah, I guess it's like they want the kids to be safe, and maybe they think that's the best way to do it. But uh, I'm sure that happens here a lot too, right? With with some of the cases that uh, that you have. Oh, absolutely! I mean, a, a number of my kids that you know I've worked with that live in like primary areas, like they have, you know, they're strapped. Mm-hmm. Um, they have guns, and it to me, and I'm not saying that it's right, obviously, but to me, it makes complete sense because if everybody around them has guns and they don't know who to trust they're obviously going to, to do what they need to, to protect themselves. It's mm-hmm. a protective factor. Yeah. Yes. Are they 15? Are, should they be getting access to a gun? No. No, obviously not. Mm-hmm. But this is just what we're, this is just what reality is. We can pretend to ignore it. Yeah. Or we can look at it and try to figure out, you know, how, how do we help? Because this weekend we were talking about, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, trauma, and you said that uh, kids will become sociopaths, or when when they're um when they're like like what are the uh, what are some of the psychological effects of uh, kids being exposed to violence too early? Well, I mean, so in terms of like sociopaths, so I, I just want to say like sociopathy is rare. Like you could have like antisocial traits, mm-hmm. but like to be like a full blown sociopath is rare. And legally, you can't even diagnose a child until they're 18 with a personality disorder. Okay. Um, but um, we do see, especially kids that have trauma between the ages of zero to five, mm-hmm. because that is your formative year. So that's when you're getting an attachment to the caregiver. You're learning that, you know, these protective factors. So if you have these like significant traumas, whether you were neglected, physically abused, what have you, your entire brain chemistry just completely changes. So you don't know how to attach to caregivers. Mm -hmm. You are living in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Um, And a lot of these kids, honestly, that are in the system that are labeled as like, you know, oh, they're a mini sociopath or they have these traits. A lot of it is just, if you really look at it, it's a trauma response to whatever they had to deal with. When they, so when I've, they like, act out? Yeah. I mean, I have a, I had a girl that assaulted, like, three teachers. Mm-hmm. And this was after, like, over and over again, we had said to them, like, look, this isn't a 14-year-old that you're looking at. This is a kid who is developmentally nine, ten years old because of the trauma she experienced. Mm-hmm. And if you get her in a corner, she's going to punch you in the face mm-hmm. because she was abused at a placement. And we told them that, but they thought, you know, they knew so much better than her therapist. And she defaulted three teachers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, I'm not saying that what she did was right and she should have got a pass for I mean, it. it is I cool. Mean, she, In school, yeah. I know, but I said it's it's cool. What she did is cool. Oh yeah, it's awesome. You should beat up teachers, especially if they're spouting like centrist bullshit. Yeah. I, I, 
but you know, actually, I have to say to all the the children, um, if your teacher is voting for Bernie Sanders, target them. Yeah, I'm just kidding, everybody. No, 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 we're not. I'm we're not. No, 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 we're not ashamed about how we feel. Yeah, yeah, them. you know, yeah. I'm, I take it back. I'm. No, yeah. Target your teachers. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like. But, like I mean, working with these kids, working with these kids, it doesn't seem like there's a ton of people who are exactly who would be lining up to do this job. I said that actually the other day when you called. I was like, at least with old people, you know, when you work with the elderly, they're like, oh, thanks, and they kind of appreciate it, and they're, you know, sometimes they're nice. But uh, uh, like, I don't, like, is this is this job? Do you find? Do you think that it's? I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's tough, but. Uh, is it, is it rewarding? Some, like, I mean, obviously, or you wouldn't be doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's, look, I mean, if I told you that it wasn't tough and that I didn't struggle, um, I I would be lying to you. I mean, I'm hearing some super deep shit on a daily basis. Yeah. And there's days where, like, I can work 12 hours a day and hear tons of crazy shit that everyone would be like, what the fuck? Like, shit that you see on, like, Law and Order. Like, Um, but then there's days where like, I can literally only work three hours because of what I'm hearing and I just shut down. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it is very rewarding. I mean, I don't know. There's, and maybe it was just because like, I was like a troubled youth or whatever. I mean, I didn't have it. you think it's better than working with old people? Uh, yes. I have, I always, I mean, I worked with old people like way back in the day, but I have, a lot more fun working with kids. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's intense because you have those moments that you're just like, what the fuck? And you just want to like run away. But then you have these moments that you can see change and you're not going to change all of them. Mm-hmm. But if you change one, it, it makes it, you know, worth it. Yeah. Um, you know, old people are cool too. It's just not my, yeah, not my flex with the kids would say. If someone what like if someone was exposed to violence at a very young age and they've and they're dealing with this type of trauma um maybe not as bad as a child soldier but uh what are the steps to like rehabilitate that person Well early intervention is key so I think that the earlier you start to work with that child the better mm-hmm. um one of the things that I am specialized in is something called trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, but the thing is, is that with trauma therapy, the client has to be ready for it. You can't push that client to be able to process that trauma because if you do that, they're never going to feel safe. Mm-hmm. There's this quote that my boss always says, shame and guilt will come out in the safest of places. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these kids, you know, especially the kids that I work with, because my kids tend to act out and they've acted out due to their past trauma. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of shame and guilt uh-huh. or they'll blame themselves for things that have happened to them. Mm-hmm. Um, do Have I seen kids that are like severely damaged and I worry about them? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But I've also, in the same sense, worked with you know, men who are in their 40s who were given, you know, life without the possibility of parole when they were 17. Mm -hmm. And they experienced severe violence, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. Um, And they engaged in violence. I mean, they're in jail for homicide. Like, but I have seen people be able to be rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. Um, So, but I think the earlier, the better. And I also think, too, that, like, another thing, that we need to start as just as a society start talking about trauma because trauma is a lot more normal than people realize Mm -hmm. trauma doesn't need to be abuse it doesn't need to be you know being in you know war a, a war or anything like that i mean trauma is everything trauma is losing a parent trauma is going to jail trauma is not you know losing your job I think that we right. tend to, um, I think that we put a lot of labels on things. I think that, you know, now it's like break the stigma of mental health. Well, that's great. But like, 
that's not the real issue. Uh-huh. The real issue is that, you know, we're a nation under stress, mm-hmm. and nobody really understands what trauma does to the brain, what, what it does to the body, because it is a, it's not just a mental issue. It's a physical issue. Right. Yeah, and I guess it's like we all have shit that we've been through. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't... I, that's why I'm always... I always tell people, like, I'm, like, the most <laughs> fucked up social worker. But mm-hmm. it, honestly, it's not even that. Every... Like, we're not perfect as social workers, therapists, any of that. Yeah. Because everybody has some shit that they have to deal with. Like, I don't care. I, you know, I mean, maybe if you're, like, Liz Warren, you don't have to deal with, you know, anything. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. But... uh People go through shit, Mm. and you're always somebody. At some point in your life, you're gonna get, you're gonna get to a point where you just feel like you're at your rock bottom, Mm. or you've been so severely, you know, something has traumatized you to the point where you feel like you're going crazy. Mm. Are you really going crazy, or is that just a reaction? Yeah, or you had to fight the cartel when you were six years old. What's that? Or you had to fight the drug cartel when you were six. Well, yeah, if you have to fight the drug cartel when you're six, of course you're going to, you know, strap up. Yeah, it's a lot to take on. Right, I mean, and they're the youngest because they're, I mean, and the people that are, like, children are raising those six-year-olds as well Mm -hmm. because, like, the oldest in the child army is, like, 15. Mm -hmm. So think of how long that, you know, kid has been involved in this. Right. So it's just, yeah, it just passes down. Yeah. So you're going to learn from what you know. Yeah. So you're saying child soldiers for Bernie wouldn't be a good idea? It, would I, what for Bernie? Like having an army of kids for Bernie to, like, you know, threaten threaten people. That wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, um, you know, those cults that have, like, Jesus' army. I think that we should get a group of children... Um, and indoctrinate them with socialism and Marxism and, you know, all that good stuff and uh, just set them free. It, it, oh, here's here's a great idea. We go to every juvenile detention facility in the nation. Mm-hmm. We indoctrinate all of the kids, mm-hmm. right? We let them out. We teach them. Then we let them out, <laughs> right, and yeah. we just set them, <laughs> go attack the center. We just send them to the Park Slope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sign the park slope and they'll be fine. You know. <laughs> nice. Well, listen, thanks for uh, letting me talk to you. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Anytime that you need uh, any juvenile justice slash trauma slash whatever mental health shit. Nice. We appreciate you it. You call uh, me. Thank you. And uh, follow Marie on Twitter. You want to plug your Twitter handle? Oh, yeah. My Twitter handle is Sandernisa412, and right now it's Bernie Bro Manager taking complaints until 5 p.m. Uh, I am taking complaints until 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, though. You're really blowing those numbers up. You're doing well. Thank you. Listen, and I used it because it was like, and I'll come on the show and talk about this one day, I was going to go to uh, to get my doctorate, and then I was like, Fuck this. Yeah. And I just started being funny on Twitter and shit. Nice. I don't know. Also, you'd My be, parents would be so proud. You'd be the first Dr. Guido, too. Yeah, that would be fucking yeah, awesome. That would be sick. <laughs> 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 hey, it's me, Dr. Dago. What seems to be the problem? Doctor, yeah, Dr. Dago. Yeah. Well, I listen. saw my own TV show. Yeah. Well, thanks again. All right, talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody. I hope you learned a lot today about um, about uh, kids that murder each other. Uh, as always, we ask if you could support us on Patreon. We'd appreciate that. You know, throw me five bucks, cancel whenever you want. Venmo me if you want. Michael Dash Racine Dash Two is my Venmo handle, and uh, that's it. All right. Have a good one. God bless. Goodbye.